Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new we do movie and series reviews, monthly wrap up tier lists with the occasional random ranking and game board content. So if any of that sounds interesting to you consider hitting that subscribe button. Monster. The Jeffrey Dahmer story dropped on Netflix. This is another story, a mini series about Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, even though I say another thing, I will be honest with you, I have never actually heard about this story before. I know I have been living under a rock. Um, prior to watching this uh, series, though, I did watch uh, Sarah Balian's murder mystery makeup like her podcast deal on well here on youtube about the jeffrey dahmer story and then i also saw a couple of his interviews kind of prepare myself of what's to come just to kind of get a, a sense of who he is and i'm not like a huge diehard true crime fan i do love true crime but i'm more like a novice i usually have like my episodes where i'm just like true crime true crime true crime but somehow when i was in that general sense I never came across the uh, the Dahmer story and then I kind of go into dry spells and then I kind of go back up I'm definitely right now like in a dry no true crime story runs right now but it's created by ryan murphy you may know that name from like american horror story american crime stories uh nip tuck scream queens i used to love that show um even a show from back like in the day popular did anybody here remember that show i remember i used to really love that show this does star niecy nash uh richard jenkins molly ringward and of course the very talented fantastic very underrated actor evan peters you may know him of course from american horror stories um or from the x-men franchise he's quicksilver uh the very first time i recall seeing evan peters was like back in the day like in 2014 or something like that uh with the very funny cute movie sleepover now i'm gonna look definitely going to the whole let's blame the mom thing but i feel like it really was like the mom had a lot to do with it just because when she was pregnant she was taking a bunch of pills so i feel like that definitely you know i mean like hardcore pills that definitely could have turned off or not even turned off like it maybe just never turned on the like hey let's not kill or eat people switch when he was you know like being formed in the body because of all these chemicals that were being induced into him that he was absorbing and you know some some didn't turn on there like hey let's it maybe it's like halfway because you know he knew it was bad but like it you know we do kind of go from, you know, like the very first kill and then kind of where it escalated where he was even killing people at his grandma's house and then of course in the uh, apartment where he ultimately was living by himself. But I'm, I'm going to try not to give too, too many spoilers in case you're kind of like me and you don't know the story. Of course, if you know the story, you know the story and it's not really a spoiler. But I like what they did here as far as being respectful to the families. They showed just enough of what was happening to the victims without showing you too much gruesomeness i mean obviously they did not not show us anything but they showed us just enough a little story is told from the point of view of the victims from the neighbors from the people around him nisi nash again she did amazing in this um series as well i definitely hope that both of them get nominated for for awards because i think they for sure for sure evan peters because he did fantastic care but nisi nash also did a really really good job so hopefully she can get a supporting um nomination there but as far as you know what's happening you know with these victims we are getting it from the grandma's point of view you know from what she was hearing what she was smelling with the neighbor nisi nash what again was coming through the vents just the sense of i'm hearing somebody being chopped up I'm smelling death. Most of his victims were black and of course that's a, there's a whole speculation of him targeting the minorities um, because they weren't just black, they were black and then like Asian and I think Latinos also. I think it was just like the first two deaths that were uh, white men but they were kind of like accidental I guess you can say. When I was seeing the interviews he did mention that that race had nothing to do with it you can believe did not believe i don't really know i mean he seemed to be very cooperative throughout everything like he never really fought 
once he got caught he, he then waived his right to a lawyer because he's like you know he was really just kind of waiting when he was gonna get caught like he got caught and that's it that's you know he's gonna really cooperate he's gonna tell you where he, all the bodies were you know buried and this is the he kept the ids that way they can try to help identify the bodies so i don't think that it was like a racial thing but i don't know i don't know if to believe or not to believe he just said that he always went for the most like beautiful the gorgeous person the story also really really pisses you off it can it can it really got me like are you freaking kidding me and this is the whole part of with the first brother with the judge and and literally the way that the system works and not just in that time period because let's face it it's still going on i mean it's like a whole racist thing of course but when the judges are like hey you know what like you remind me of my grandson he was a drunk also he kind of turned his life around i'm gonna give you another chance i mean this monster i'm not even gonna call him a man this monster got chance after chance after chance after chance because he was a good looking white male and that is point blank where, where it is. And just the way that the system works towards the advantage of that and towards the disadvantage of the minorities is really why he got away with this. Because not just the judge and was all like, hey, you know what? Somebody that looks like you shouldn't shouldn't be like here, shouldn't have to deal with this, shouldn't have to suffer the consequences. But we're still going to give you a year. But you know what? You've been good with your job, so we're going to give you time to get out and do your 40 hours at work, but then you have to come back to prison. But just to kind of put that little cherry on top, we're not going to mention why, you know, you're in jail. As in, we're not going to put on there that you're a child predator. How does that sound, pal? What the fuck? The way that the police force from the very first incident I know I said I was going to do spoilers and then I'm going into it. Oh my, okay, we're going to spoiler territory. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Because I need, I need to give out my anger and just like the way that the system is. I mean, it's just always been like that. I mean, there's trying to be changes, but it's never really going to go into our benefit. Let's face it. If the police had just done their job from the very first guy that he killed, when he was swerving around in, you know, the road and he had that dead body, that hitchhiker guy in the back chopped up into little pieces that was his very first kill let's face it if he was colored they would have taken him out of the car he would have been arrested for for driving under you know being intoxicated they would have searched his car and they would have found the dead body and they would have been to get a job and that would have been the end end of it he ended up killing i think like 17 men so if they had just done their job from the get-go they would have been able to save 16 other lives but no because he was a young white man and from from what i've heard and you know everything he was a good looking man i keep saying that because let's face it the way that you look physically also has a lot to do with the advantages that you get in life um because he is good looking you know you can't be a serial killer you can't do this because you are too pretty for that this is this is a heck of a of a series it definitely sticks with you i have definitely been talking about this series a lot I told my co-worker about it I told my mom about it and i'm like dude like this is some crazy like oh my god like and like it happened in real life before i do give you my score if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new if you've seen monster the jeffrey dahmer story let me know down below what you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you monster the jeffrey dahmer story it's a series that they did i feel very very well i feel like they were still a very well told story very well performed and still kept it i feel proper and respectful towards the victims families and we got to see how the families were obviously because i mean, can you just imagine like getting a knock on your door and it's like look we found your son but we didn't find like all of him. We found parts of your son basically, you know, and you know what? Other parts destroyed, other parts poly were eaten. I mean, parts were in freezers. It's just, it's, it's a really, really horrific story to be honest with you that definitely like 
stays with you and it's just I uh, it's just crazy if you were around I mean because this, this obviously happened I think was it like in the 90s or whatever so if you were around when this was actually like being broadcast like where were your thoughts around this time I definitely think it is a very bingeable show um so definitely check it out and I'm curious if Evan needed some sort of like therapy during after like to kind of decompose and get out of this monster like what was it because oh wow he was good i mean and again like i said at the beginning he's such an underrated actor i think he is a fantastic actor and i'm surprised that i don't see him out doing more because he is definitely capable of doing more all right guys that's it for me today until next time i'll see you guys in the sessions bye